raised and living in a house about six blocks from where I was raised was a young man who was to become very important not only in the community but in the city as a whole. He came to have a very influential impact on how we are represented throughout the government offices. Mr. Claude Cummings, Jr is a 1970 graduate of Cashmere High School where he was senior class president, graduating with honors. And as you can see, the signs were very clear at that point in 1970 where he was headed. As you may have read in your program, Mr. Cummings has served in many positions with the community, uh, Communication Workers of America. And he is also second vice president of the Houston chapter of the NAACP. He, in a way I could say a product he is a product of Fifth Ward Baptist Church. He spent 40 years here as a leader of the deacon board, as chair of the deacon board, member of the adult choir, member of the brotherhood and male chorus. And as president of the deacon a board of directors, excuse me, of the Faith Revitalization excuse me, Revitalization Center. Mr. Cummings moved his membership to the church where his son is now pastor. And I think back as I moved my membership and my mother stressed the importance of her going with me, family going with me as I moved my membership and over the next 20 years I understood why. Mr. Cummings, enough cannot be said for what you have done and have meant for the community. Many of the things are unsung, but they were jobs that had to be done, a role and a mission that had to be quietly completed as we made sure that we had representation in the halls of power. And so, it is an honor to present to you our Community Service Award. And is in recognition of your numerous contributions made, often quiet. All praise be to God, and, and let me thank uh, everyone uh, that has been on the program so far for all that they have done. Um, Kathy, you've done a great job. Kathy and I just sit here for a couple of minutes, had no idea that I went to Kashmir. Uh, she graduated five years uh, after I, I did, but I was actually, uh, my class was the last midterm class of the new Kashmir. And, and if, uh, if people want to know, you know, how I got kind of involved in uh, doing some things in the community. You know, one of the things that happened after 
uh, after the new school was built and uh, the name was going to be changed to Francis Scott Key, my class went crazy. And we actually, and I'm giving you all this history, actually went out in a community. My mother thought I'd gone crazy with some others. We signed petitions and presented mm -hmm. it to the school board that we ain't graduating from those Francis Scott Key after all these years. We want to graduate from cashmere. So the, the, the colors were, of course, the cashmere were maroon and white. And uh, the reason why the band, uh, um, uh, the, well, the reason why the, the colors didn't go maroon and white to the new school is because they'd already purchased the red, white, and blue uniforms for the band. And so we kept the red, white, and blue colors at the new cashmere, but we kept the name cashmere. So that's when I first got started in dealing with a lot of these <laughs> politics. And, and so you needed to you just want to make sure you knew that, that history. But, uh, but I certainly thank the Northeast Concerned Citizens Civic League for everything that they are doing in the community. I thank the leadership so much. Uh, and let's please give them a round of applause, uh, Mr. Will White, uh, Alzina, Barbara, Nell, Shavere, Prashanda, Adowney, um, Willie Edmonds, Reverend Caldwell, Attorney Provost, uh, Elaine. Elaine, thank you so much. Elaine was our first musician at Fifth Ward Missionary Baptist Church when I started as my, uh, along with, with Gideon Sanders and others back in the day, but Elaine was the youth choir director during that period of time. And if certainly Mr. Mr. Bruce Austin, uh, uh, Sister Walker, thank you so much. Carl Walker, as you know, this building was named, uh, you know, after him and, uh, and so many others that have played such a great part. Let's give those who served the dinner this great food. And, um, and, and let me, before I get into my which remarks, going to be very, I don't have a speech in front of me. My remarks going to be very close. I, I certainly want to recognize um, my better half, uh, and that's Sister Ruth, Cum Minister Ruth Cummings. If you would stand, baby. She, <clears throat> the best thing in life that happened to me was, 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 was walking down the valley in Tuskegee, Alabama, and I had a young lady start picking at me. And this is the result of her picking at me almost 49 years of marriage now. <laughs> so, uh, so I appreciate her, and then certainly I want to recognize my son, Pastor uh, Claude Cummings III. My, my daughter and granddaughter, Laura Cummings, she, she carries two titles. Who's that with um, uh, Joaquina, that's right, Joaquina. Uh, Joaquina Stan, Pastor Cummings' uh, wife, Joaquina. And then my granddaughter, Lacey, and her friend, uh, Mason. Uh, Stan, so much. Thank you so much. And then Jill, Layla, and Claire are over there. The, the, the three, that's right, the three months, thank them so much. And then my fifth ward, a Missionary Baptist Church family who I love so dearly. Um, you know, I served in maybe a leadership position with fifth ward, but I've actually been at fifth ward all my life. I accepted Christ at the age of 13 uh, over um, off of Bringhurst at the old fifth ward Missionary Baptist Church and then moved over here and and uh, became the past uh, became the chairman of the deacon board uh, of uh, of, um, of Fifth Ward, and certainly enjoyed the time that I was here. Uh, we leave with no malice. Uh, we love the church. We love the church members. Um, I, I think the church members know this, and I just this is the first time I've said it publicly. Uh, but about three to four days before Pastor Barksdale passed, I visited with him in the hospital. And, uh, and I shared with him at that time that Claude was talking to me more and more about coming over uh, to do work with him. And, uh, and Pastor Barksdale kind of gave me his blessing. Claude, you do what you need to do, you know, to help, uh, help your son. But, uh, but I would leave and I assured him I would do nothing to try to split the church. So that's why I never made any public statement. I didn't want to stand before the church and do all of that because I didn't want anybody to think in any way that I wanted to split Fifth Ward. I wanted Fifth Ward to stay here. I wanted to be successful. And I know there were people that would come behind me to leave. The graveyard is full of a whole lot of people who thought they couldn't be replaced. All right? I mean, so, so I know that, that there will be great leaders coming behind me. 
uh, and anything that I can still do to help Fifth Ward in any kind of way, just know that I'm here and I will do that because I love this church and I love these members. Now let me just think, uh, let me think, um, thank you uh, for all of the great work that you're doing in this organization. And I understand clearly that there's a need to help those in our community uh, go to college, our youth go to college. If you have not sent a child to college, uh, then uh, I'm telling you right now, you better start saving your money now if you're young and you experience, because it is expensive. I sent three to college and it almost bankrupt me, to be quite honest with you. But I'm proud of uh, them. I thank God for the resources that he gave me to be able to do it, because to be honest with you, uh, it is a need in our community to give as much help as we can to our youth. Uh, and, uh, and so what you're doing, um, and, I, and of course, I t attended college myself, so I know the importance of having resources. So what you're doing is just so absolutely important uh, to our community and to our youth. And so I purchased, uh, I think, three or four tables, but also I'm going to make an additional $2,500 donation. And, and I'm going to make that an annual donation, an annual donation for the next four years, because that's how long my term is. I'll be making a $2,500 donation to help with what you're doing to help uh, the youth in our community. And know if there are other things that I can do to help, I would be more than happy to. Just, just call on me. Uh, and then the, the, the final thing I'll say, and take my seat because I don't want to take too long, uh, is that uh, I promised God some years ago that if he blessed me with some influence and some resources, I would use it to help our people. Uh, I've had an opportunity to do some great things in my life. I never in my life thought a young man graduating from Cashmere High School uh, in 1970 would have an opportunity to sit down with the President Barack Obama and talk to him about things that are going on in our community and sit down with a William Clinton, President Clinton, talk to him about things that he's doing in our community. Um, go throughout this country making speeches about the need for our people to get out and vote so we would have a voice at our table. I didn't think I'd have an opportunity to speak twice at the foot of the Edmund Pettus Bridge where so many people, you know, um, uh, were, were beaten. Just, they did not even, know that they would see the results of what they were doing in that time frame, you know. But having the opportunity for me to just stand there has been a blessing. And I, uh, I, I'm trying to keep my promise. And so, uh, and so I have gone to communities um, like uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and helped elect, uh, and I won't get too political, and I won't mention parties, but I'll say use the GOTV uh, resources that I have to elect people of color to offices and to educate people on the need to go out uh, and vote. And over the last three election cycles, uh, to see what we did uh, on last year, that didn't happen by accident. It happened because me uh, and some others that look like me and some people who love our community, I spent over $7 million to make sure we have great representation uh, in our office. And I give that praise and honor to God from him giving me the opportunity to do that. And when I can, I give resources to nonprofits because I know that there is a need in our community because we don't have, and trust me, I've, I've watched it. I've sat in, 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 in offices with CEOs that open the doors of opportunity for people that look like them and for their children. And so there's a need for people like me to not just sit at the table, but while I'm at the table, make sure I'm opening the doors for other people to be able to get to where I am because that's what what others do. So, so I thank you. Uh, people don't have to honor you. So I just thank you for, uh, for thinking enough of me, a little boy from, fifth, from, 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 from Cashmere Garden that, that went to, to Cashmere High School uh, for having an opportunity you know, to be honored uh, in this way. Just thank you so very much um, for everything that you do. And, and again, just know that if there's anything that I can do, not just for the organization, but for any of you, because I talk to senators, I talk to Congress members, uh, of course, the mayor and I are three streets from each other, so I see him quite a bit, uh, and, and others in the community, just call on me, because I, I believe that, as I promised God, if he gave me the, the resources, he gave me the influence, I would do it to help those that are in need. So thank, uh, thank all of you. And, uh, and continue to do the work uh, that you're doing 
uh, and I'm sure that God will, uh, will bless you. Uh, let me say this, that I'm going to be leaving here shortly to go to the Endurance Hour. Let me make a plug for the Endurance Hour. Um, uh, I'm, I'm on 1360 every Saturday from 2.30 to 4. Michael Robinson is one of my, uh, my co-hosts, along with Sharon Baldwin. And uh, we're there every Saturday. Call in if you have church announcements, community announcements. Y'all call in. We don't charge for that because, again, we've got sponsors. God gave me the resources. I want to bless his people so we can get information out in the community free of charge for, uh, for things that you might have going on in your community. Uh, and then we're also going to be buying time on KCOH uh, in the very near future. And I'm on KYOK occasionally, uh, you know, talking about things that are going on in our community. So, so thank all of you so very much for, for honoring me. And, uh, again, if I can do anything for you, just please feel free to call on me. God bless all of you.